Um, so yeah, I'm going to give a quick introduction to Mappyfile. So Mappyfile is a Python library for working with, with Map Server. So if you have lots of map files and you want to work with map files, this hopefully is a tool that you can use to, to make it easier to work with them. So it basically passes the map file and turns it into a Python dictionary structure. Um, from that structure, you can then edit it, you can validate it, and then you can dump it back out to a, to a map file. So it's a kind of full round trip of, of reading map files, then you can edit them using Python dictionaries, and then you can dump it back out. And it became an OSGO community project last year, and it's been going for about seven years, so there's not too many changes. So like Map Server, it's, it's very stable. So I'm just going to go through a few of the, the use cases. Um, so one of them is for formatting map files. So there's, um, it's a Python library, but there's command line tools as well. So if you want to format your map files, if you want to get rid of the comments, if you want everything indented with a certain, um, with certain number of spaces or tabs, you can, run, you can run this program and it'll format your map files. So here's kind of a, a messed up map file um, with some comments and some indentation. And you run it through the formatter and you'll get a nicely formatted map file. So if you want to, to kind of develop your map files using includes and lots of comments, you can do that, and then for production, you can use the mappy file to just dump out a nice clean map file, removing all the comments and, and formatting it. And there's an application online which uses mappy file called uh, Map Server Studio, and you can paste in your map files and you can try all the features of mappy file in there, so all of the, um, the different formatting options. So as I mentioned, it passes the map file and then puts them into a, a Python dictionary structure. So if you're a Python programmer, once you have the map file in, in a Python dictionary, it's very easy to then go in. Um, so layers would be a, a list of, of layer dictionaries. Then you can go into the classes, and you can edit any of the dictionaries, and then, then you dump it back out, and your changes will be in, in your map file. Uh, so you can edit map files using the Python map script, but it's slightly more complicated. It has a slightly strange syntax. Um, you edit things in different ways. And for things like setting error files, if the file doesn't exist on the machine, it'll, it'll throw an error. Whereas Mappy file, you don't even need Map Server installed on the machine, so it's a pure Python library. So you can create and edit all your map files on any machine um, without worrying about paths being um, not existing. And as I mentioned, you can validate map files. So there's a whole JSON schema that's been written as part of the Mappy file project. So every single property of the map file, um, you have all the valid, valid settings you can have. So you can run your map file through, through the validator. So this helps if you, if you have an old map file and you want to update to a new version of, of map server. Um, you can run it through the validator and it'll tell you all the things that have been deprecated since, um, yeah, with, the, with the new versions of map server. So it's, it's helpful for upgrading map files. As I say, you don't need map server installed, so you can validate all your map files um, as part of a CI process. So you can just run the command line programs on, on GitHub Actions. And you can also integrate it into um, a more dynamic workflow. So you can integrate with MapScript. Uh, so you can load up a map file. You can mess around with it with Python. You can take user inputs from a, a web service. And then you can dump out an image all in memory um, back, to, back to a web server. Uh, if you want to get a map, mappy file, uh, you can use pip install, conda install, or, or apt get. Um, so yeah, most of the development, it's, it's fairly stable. So everything else is plugins. So there's a few plugins listing here. And yeah, there's a QGIS exporter hopefully coming out soon. There are the links, and thanks for listening. Thank you.